Okay, guys, welcome back, guys, to Little Pie Rips Celebrity Media Updates, Fashion Highlights, and such, guys. Okay, guys, but today, guys, we're back with something much more interesting, guys, and more serious, guys. Another update, guys, on Trump, guys. Okay, guys, and it's about whether or not, guys, Obama really tapped them lines, guys, had them phones tap, guys. Okay, guys, and guys, Obama care. We're gonna highlight on that, guys, one time, guys, and then we're gonna highlight, guys, on the war on drugs 2.0, guys, prison reform, guys, and prosecuting people to the furthest extent guys okay guys so we're gonna get all down into that right now cuz so let's get into it guys a woo woo okay guys a woo woo okay guys and we're just gonna get into this right off the bat guys okay guys like straight like this guys you know uh there was a breakfast club interview guys with uh Meta War, Meta World Peace, guys. I believe that's Ron Artest, Goofy Ass, guys, and um, uh, Brother Polite, guys. Okay, I I'll link it in the description for you, guys. Okay, guys, but the uh, simple scenario, the situation, guys. I believe Brother Polite, who is really a, a, a interesting guy. You know, I, I like to give no man extra intelligence that I don't have. So. We're all intelligence as black kings, okay, guys? Whether our light is shining correct or not, guys. We are born oppressed and depressed, but it's fine, guys. We're still intelligent behind that, guys, okay? And I would like to say, bro, uh, 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 what is his name? Brother Polite, guys. He had said something that really triggered uh, something in my mind. He had compared, guys, the... Uh, the mortgaging and the owning of real estate cash to the owning and the mortgaging of jail facilities guys you know these uh, big timers buy jails and invest into jails and stuff like that guys you know and he was basically saying that you know through he had tied in mortgage and the jail just a uh, natural mortgaging of houses and real estates into the actual building of the jail and the inmates working inside the facility and you know the main circumference around that was these inmates are sanctioned to jail with certain mandatory you know coming from that uh, stint that Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton put in uh, after Nixon left office and uh, it was basically like these guys work for, you know, pennies on the dollar a day, but the money that they're supposed to be receiving, they take that money from each inmate and add that to the development and real estate development of the areas that, you know, they use that money that they're supposed to pay the inmates every, you know, when they get paid in jail, and they take that to go build real estate, like, real life. That's what Metal World Peace was telling me, and, you know, when it comes to this prison reform, like I've said previously, they just want to take cars and put us cars back in jail, cars. Like, you know, uh, the last, uh, you know, eight, eight years, 16 years, Democrats been in office, cars. Like, they not feeling that, cars. They think black people got too off the limb, cars, or criminal, the criminal faction, period, cars. And they're just ready to lock that shit up, cars. And they're not playing with that, cars. They will lock you up up guys okay guys they like i don't know if you guys know the pastor from new york he was a big time drug dealer uh the preacher i said the pastor i mean the preacher look him up guys and you know what he was basically trying to do is talk his way out of what they were doing in the basement guys you dig and you know and uh it, it, it's no way of you talking to the police cause of your way out of what you were doing in your basement guys because they already have a basement of their own you dig what i'm saying guys so you know they what they're doing in their basement cause like i said they're they're fighting their cells you feel what i'm saying because they're chasing their cells guys which, we'll, which we'll get into more in a second cast and uh when it comes to this prison reform cause this is not a game cause and 
you know, the war on drugs was covered up by the war on terrorism, cuz, and that's what's really more important, cuz, because after the war on drugs, they really started this damn war on terrorism for you to buy in that propaganda while they never solve the war on drugs because there's no war to solve when they're essentially responsible. And you could check into the real Rick Ross about that one, cuz, his actual story, cuz. Okay, cuz, so. Moving on, cuz, cuz that's a very touchy subject, cuz, cuz little pie rip, cuz, got a lot of lost one, cuz, a lot of dead homies, cuz, a lot of ones inside the jail, cuz, and to think that a nigga put you there to eat off you like you a dish plate, cuz, that breaks my heart, cuz, and you know that's just how it go, cuz, so leaving that topic, cuz, we're gonna get right into, you know, uh, Donald Trump talking about his phone lines are tapped, cuz, we just touched in on that, uh, 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 war on drugs 2.0, private prisons, prosecuting you to the furthest extent, and why they need to prosecute you to that furthest extent, guys. Okay, and, and you know, and that's just, that's a serious topic, guys, because that's big money making feel, guys. Okay, so let's get into these phone taps with him, because this is an update, guys, on what Trump's been going through so far, guys. I believe he done signed something for the coal miners and the energy crisis. That's a whole nother thing, guys, that we got to get into, guys. Because, you know, he's all about these miners. And that's that red faction I be talking about, cuz. That American, knit, grit, we're going to do everything ourselves. And, you know, that's what puts you back at war, cuz. Because you're holding secrets, cuz. So, back to the phone lines being tapped, cuz. Who trusts who? What government agencies work for which, cuz? Okay? And, and you know, um, uh, the games are... They are trying to fight internally from a system that they created, cuz, you know what I'm saying, or they're trying to keep going, you feel what I'm saying, cuz, I mean, is this the tail wagging the dog, or is the dog wagging his tail, cuz, okay, you know, where did Dustin Hoffman, cuz, and Robert De Niro, cuz, you know, what length will America go to to understand itself, cuz, and with so many government agency separations, what is their end game, because they're, 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 they're playing each other, down their own path of destruction, cuz. Hence the dog chasing his tail, cuz. Like, will he ever catch it, cuz? Okay? Side note, cuz. Any of you ever seen Operation Endgame, cuz? With Ben Rames and a crazy motherfucker from Hangover, Zach, uh, Gilla, Naskis, cuz, or whatever, cuz. Uh, it was like a uh, assassin or fighter from every agency or branch of the government, cuz, left to fight against each other to the death for whatever their greater goods are, cuz, okay, uh, basically in, uh, it's crazy, it, it, uh, in the, it, it, in the end, destroying their own environment or habitat that they all work from, cuz, okay, cuz, so, so, all this in saying that to say Obama probably did have your phone tap Donald cuz cuz of your business ties and relationships with other countries cuz okay cuz uh, that means uh, to certain political views like outsourcing and uh, importing goods from other countries to uh, sanction peace you know that you know that's probably what you know that that blue right extreme uh democratic faction stand for you feel me building the rainbow cuz okay cuz while other countries understand america is a main hub in the world for accessing what is hot and new in style cuz that's why uh uh that's why we say america's lost its roots cuz okay in creating a product manufacturing such said product then advertising for the consumer's needs cuz and then blacks define such product for your liking, lol, cuz, lol, cuz, that's another combo for another day, cuz, okay, cuz, and so, uh, let's just, uh, let's just keep it going, cuz, we'll keep it moving, hey, cuz, as we're keeping it moving, cuz, I'm just gonna jump out there and say, cuz, he just wanted to call it Trump Care, just like that, cuz, he just wanted to call it Trump Care, fuck this nigger, we're not going to call it Obamacare. He's not taking care of my nation that we invaded, that da-da-da, we, we set the independence, we freed the first slaves in D.C., da-da-da-da-da, da-da-da-da-da, blah-blah-blah, guys, okay? We're going to call it Trump Care. 
because I'm the poor man, I'm the thug of this nation with all the money, and I'm, you dig what I'm saying, cuz? And now I'm president, cuz, and I'm going to call it Trump Care. I'm the big baby, cuz. That's how Trump feels about the situation, guys. Okay, cuz? Was Obamacare a good thing or a bad thing? Okay, cuz? Uh, it's easier to infect more people. That's what my evil eye or my conspiracy eye feels, cuz. But on a literal level, cuz, it probably was the best thing Obama put into place, cuz. How many lives could be fixed, cuz? Or how many people can start to receive care for whatever medical situation they were or are still going through, cuz? Okay? Yeah, yeah. And okay, cuz, if they want to drop a virus, they might infect us all immediately, but they can do that through the tap water, cuz? Okay, you know what I'm saying? They can do that anyway, cuz. But that's very unlikely, cuz, unless we're in an end game scenario, cuz. That's different, cuz. But for the right now, y'all better go ahead and get that free health insurance, cuz. They did the, uh, the, they just tried to, uh, get that shit out of there. It didn't work, cuz. The, uh, the Senate, the cabinet, all that, they weren't feeling that, cuz. They're like, nah, we're gonna keep the health, the Obamacare still in place. So, he still got two more tries to get it out of, out of there. So, you guys better try to get that now, cuz. And try to see if you can keep it and get it exchanged over to Trump Care or whatever, cuz. Or, or go through your local governments or whatever, cuz. And, uh, you know, if, if you lost your job or you're homeless or even if, your job don't offer benefits, cuz. It's the next best thing besides local government insurance, cuz. Like, I don't think that y'all are thinking, cuz. Like, you gotta really be on top of you. Like, you can't always. It's, everything's like. Every, first of all, cuz. Everything is a conspiracy, cuz. Straight like that. So now you gotta get over that and live. You gotta get over that and live every day, cuz. After everything being a conspiracy, cuz. Okay, cuz? So tell me how you feel about that in the comments below, cuz. Okay, cuz? Because everything is not a conspiracy, cuz. Well, no, everything is a conspiracy, cuz, but everything is not conspiracized towards you, cuz. Because your daily life has to keep on going. Your children has to be fit for your life. You have to fit for yourself if you have nothing, cuz. Okay, cuz? So always keep that in your head, cuz. Okay, cuz? Don't let them get the best of you, cuz. You get the best of them. Use your tools, cuz. Use your tools, guys. So, 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 I want to thank y'all for getting with me on this update on Donald Trump, guys. You know, this is very important, a little pie rip, guys. A whoop, whoop, guys. And free the homies and RIP to all the dead ones, guys. Okay, guys. Whoop, whoop. Okay, guys. That was Trump's, uh, that was Little Pie Rip's update on Trump, guys, okay, guys, about the Obamacare, guys, about the prison reform, guys, and, and uh, the real reason why he probably had them phones tapped, guys, okay, guys, because he's just a criminal, guys, you know, yeah, yeah, just, he, he might as well throw his set up, guys, okay, guys, but you know, but they're all criminals, guys, and that's just how it is, guys, that's just how it goes, guys. They just pick and choose what they want to do, guys, okay, guys, and you know, it's about filling prisons, getting real estate built, guys, and you know, guys, it's, it's, as simple as we don't want no black man on the health care, guys, <laughs> so we're going to call it Trump, okay, guys, <laughs> put all those niggers in jail, that's how they feel, guys, okay, guys, okay, guys, a whoa, whoa, like, comment, and subscribe, guys, a whoa, whoa. I don't got reason to lie